What's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero Early Access. Last episode, when we left off, we made our way to the alien sanctuary that Sam has told us existed, and that we are to explore and find out what's going on inside. It was a pretty casual exchange, considering that uh, I'm assuming this hasn't been discovered prior. Whoa, what is that? Is that my supply drop? Where's my life pod? What? All right, we'll deal with that afterwards. Uh, I we all know what's gonna happen here, at least a lot of you probably do. Uh-oh. But I don't want to say anything and spoil it. If you guys are still enjoying- I come in peace. Absence of hostility. Sufficient. Are you alive? Or a computer? What is the difference? I I want to meet the people who built this place. What do you want? For you to stay here. With you? Forever. Why? Your masters will seek to harness my power. You've met Altera then? It is what we would do. People will come for me. They will also stay here. That is all. I waited my life for this. I'm not your enemy. Hello? Oh, <laughs> I got goosebumps. We have an overwhelming need to know about spacefaring aliens because I, I believe the lore states that even up to this point, humans had not discovered another spacefaring alien race. At least have not interacted with them. We know about the precursors and what they can do, but we never got to meet them. Anyway, how the- am I just supposed to walk across this or- oh god. So yeah, if you guys are still enjoying Subnautica Below Zero, let me know in the comments. And let me know your thoughts as the story unravels. I'll try to piece this all together. There's water leaking down, look at that. This is brutal. I just heard a force field. Like a, a force field go down. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. Hello? What the hell? Hello? Oh god, I'm afraid to go around the corner. Okay, we're good. Whew. Just a barrier for some reason. <gasps> Excuse me? What in the hell? What is this room for? Do not touch anything. You would not understand. Die peacefully. Whoa! 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 I'm not dying. Robin? Robin, do something. Holy mother of Christ. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, this is... This is some next level stuff. Look at that. It actually looks like a, uh, a really small version of the precursor bases that we've seen in the crater. Look at that. Oh my god. Initiate download sequence. Should I? Oh. <gasps> what? I can get really close to it. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Downloading. Did you must be flushed to an empty storage vessel. Switching. Storage vessel found. Commencing download. Oh my god! Concept for what has just occurred. Oh, I know it hurt. What happened? Download capacity was identified in your cerebral cortex. You're in my head? It is uncomfortable. Return me. Release the force fields first. Return me, or I will destroy your orbital station. Why not do it now? My survival chance increases if I do not draw attention. I don't think you have the power. I think you're scared. Wow. I'll destroy you. Wow. I am experiencing technical difficulties. Do not move. 
Do not move. Errors. Hibernating. I didn't mean to scare you. <sighs> what is happening? All right, game. Okay. S slow down and hang on a second. Okay, so I need to wrap my head around this because obviously this is... I, I knew about the general premise of this in text. We actually talked about this in an update video, but this is kind of nuts. Her, like, standoff type responses to this thing going into her head, it's kind of weird. I don't think I would have similar reactions. It's very strange that she, I mean, unless, she, you know, she's likely brilliant, but to assume that everything is safe and to be able to talk to that thing in this manner, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy, if you ask me. That was insane. Also, that sequence. Good God. Okay, so this was way more developed than I thought it would be. Holy Christ. I feel like I got way farther in the game than I should have. I feel like I should have just kept going, but I'm not sure what else there was for me to do. I mean, eventually Sam would have told me about this place and I would have found it. Okay, so this thing's in my head, which is an awesome voice, by the way. That is so... I, I, I read the dialogue and I didn't really get to hear it in my head, but now that there's a voice to it, it's even more fantastic than I thought it would be. Okay, let's get out of this place, please. I want to leave. I'm assuming that he's going to be talking to me throughout. Oh. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Sound? Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. The crash fish. I gotta get out of here. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Oxygen plant. Alright, so we're right below- Oh my god! I thought I already got that one! Jesus! Honestly, the strangest thing about all of that to me is that we know from the original Subnautica that the Precursors had the ability to upload their minds into a databank to store it. I believe, from what I understand, the Precursor or the Almanac race, it's kind of like Soma, where the technology had been discovered that everything that goes on in their organic brain can be digitally stored and then transferred from vessel to vessel. Now, we have never come into contact with anything like we just saw in Subnautica, there was a lot of speculation that some of the totems or the pedestals that you would see around the caches or the other sanctuaries in Subnautica, that those were the places that were storing the minds of the precursors. Did you make it inside the sanctuary? Yep. Anything unusual? Like what? We're getting odd readings from your biometrics. Hmm. Malfunction, maybe? I want to make sure. We're sending down a disposable bioscanner. Take a sample and send it up in the cargo rocket. Okay. I'm on it. Not a good idea. Vital signs stabilizing. Hey, you in there. We're in trouble. If you send a sample, your masters will come for us. They'll do the same if I don't. Return me to the sanctuary. So you can trap me again? No. Then I will mask my presence. Initiate the scan. Wait, she sent down a scan. Where is it? Oh, all the way over there? Oh, it's, it's pretty close. I just got a weird, uh, good old family archived voice log part one. Alien chirping. Young Robin, PDA, describe Owelian toadworm hibernation behavior. PDA, Owelian toadworms are an endangered species which hibernates most of the year in leaf-filled burrows. Uh, if disturbed, they emit a characteristic chirping sound and should be uh, returned to a warm and closed environment as soon as possible. Uh, sound of Robin running off, the chirping goes with her until they are out of earshot. Young Sam screams. What did you do? Uh, nothing. What is that thing? An Aurelian toad worm. You put it in my bed? Uh, why would you- what is this stuff? It's in my hair. Be careful, it needs the slime to hibernate. It's endangered. They could just make more- okay, so that's- that's actually kind of nice. Again, showcasing her complete and total care for other life forms. That's beautiful. What the hell was- What? 
Oh, is that the se Okay, I was freaking out for a second. Jesus. Oh, what are you? Storage. Hey, a bio- Oh my god, it's the transfuser. Now called the bioscanner. Hello? What? Alright, so I have to bioscan myself. I don't think that's a good idea. Can I self-scan? I cannot self-scan with the scanner. Okay, let me get back to a safe place to do this. I don't really try- Wait, that's not it. It's over here. So, what do I do? <gasps> Sam, I've got the sample. Looks normal. Okay, good. Send it up ASAP. The cargo rocket should be on your HUD. Will do. Oh, boy. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, fantastic. We get to see the cargo rocket. Okay. All right, let's head to the rocket. Guess we got to send our sample up. Uh, oh, I should set up a grav sphere, actually. Hang on a second. How do I even make that? Grav sphere. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, wow, that's huge. Uh, let's put this. Release. And so does that just do that permanently, or...? All right, well, you can just stay there and do that. Cargo rocket. Whoa. See, the bioluminescent, like, barnacles... Those are barnacles. It's just crazy looking. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's two of them?! I need to make a first aid kit. That would be in my best interest. I didn't alert him, did I? Wait! Hey. Three out of fifty?! Good God! Is that volcano? Those things are ridiculous. What's up here? What's up here? What is this? Little vents. It's so dark. <gasps> Guys, look. It's the rock puncher. Oh my God, we have waited years for this. <laughs> A large crustacean which feeds on tiny larvae excavated from coral and rock within its power or with its powerful punching arms. Attracted to glow larvae found in and around deep sea rock formations. Hardened uh oh, I need oxygen. Whoa. Look at these vents. Alright, Mr. Puncher, where'd you go? I wanted to take a look. There you are. Hey buddy. Listen to that sound. Wait. Does it hurt me? Will it hurt me? Hey, buddy. Oh! <sighs> I guess it does. Oh, we're going on land. I'm so scared. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. What is this? <gasps> hot springs. All right, so we got hot springs to stay warm. These guys as well. I'm assuming, uh... When blizzards roll in. Jesus, you guys are weird. Oh, I can scan you, right? No, I can't. Cargo rocket should be right here. Hello? Oh, wait, I see something. That looks like a base. Okay, so I guess it's up here. I don't like being up here, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think an ice worm can be up here, but... You know what? You never know. <gasps> God! I'm so- and I'm, I'm on edge right now. I am not in a good place. Can I scan this stuff? No, I cannot. Okay. Wait, I can scan you though. No, okay, never mind. Hi guys, just passing through. What is it? What is that green stuff you have all over your- Okay, I guess I can't find out. Wow. What are the- look at that endless ocean, dude! No thanks. No thanks. Here we go. Ooh, wait a second. What is this? It's a, a completely different habitat. A lot of cargo. What base is this? Can you please not do that? What base is this? I'm not sure I understand where we are. Okay. Hello. Medkit? Oh, thank God. Oh, a nutrient block and water. This is beautiful. I don't have to go back to base. So can I talk to the dude in my head, like, all the time? Hey, got some coffee. Body heat. Oh, no way. That's actually nice. Now it serves a deeper purpose. Oh, we got a fabricator in here. That is also nice. Is this my new base? We got storage and everything. I can't actually use those. Weird. Wait, 
I can't go up this ladder? What? There's observatories up there, and I want to go. Okay, I think I've scanned everything in this place. This is weird. Where's the rocket? Is it up higher or something? Yeah, there's two observatories. Doesn't look like much. Okay. God damn. Uh, I just want to go up. Please let me go up. Here we go. Okay. Wow, that's... Ain't she a beaut? Wow, look at this view. Yep, there's the alien base over there. The exchanger. Okay, so we're gonna send this rocket up with our bio sample. And hopefully, I don't know, have them tell us, you're fine, dude, you're looking good. Rocket needs repair. Okay, so what can I do to repair? Oh, I need a welder. Oh, that sucks. All my, all my stuff is in storage. That's also good. Okay, tools, uh, welder. Oh, I just need silicone? Yeah, but I gotta go back in the water for that. You've gotta be kidding me. All right, I guess I'm doing it. All right, can I just jump in the water here? I can. All right, three, two, save, one, go. Ugh. Whee! Oh my God. That's beautiful. Oh no, the endless ocean. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to know what roams the voids in below zero, but I've heard some talk. Okay, that's definitely the edge. We should go back. How come I don't have a temperature gauge, by the way? I just noticed that. Does it not affect me? Ooh, that storm's coming in. Maybe it only affects me when I get really cold. We might be okay for right now. All right, creep vine. Please. Is that a sand shark? Wow, okay, that's... That's lovely. I did not know they would be in this game. Could be a temp. Oh, hey, Mr. Rock Puncher. You're, you're a jerk. Bone sharks and rock punchers. So there's likely not going to be... Oh, the twisty bridge is here. What is this, by the way? What do I get from you? Apparently nothing. This doesn't even make sense naturally. How would something like this occur? All right, we got our creep vine. Which, actually, let me scan this real quick. Wait, is the silicone... I'm not making a huge mistake here. I am making a huge mistake. All right, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay. So this base is kind of nice. I guess this will be my permanent area. My permanent base from now on. Because the small one doesn't really mean... Oh, look. Finding a lot of these. Oh, wait. Precursor bounty. What does that mean? Good God, it's so bad. Whoa. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, I gotcha. This makes way more sense. So I get a supply drop if I collect enough technology. Wait, I have to wait till you land? Wow. Probably not worth it. There's another one over here anyway. Might as well scan it. Very strange technology this is. Oh no. Of course it has to be right near the brute shark. Oh, there's another one. Hurry up, please. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, what is this? Heating gel. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I gotta get rid of something. Take one. 30 seconds. Okay, gotta go. Gotta go. That is actually nice. So as I collect it, Sam is like, hey, you know, you're doing you're doing some work. We respect that, and we're gonna give you some vitals. Oh, crap. God, I had one more. All right, back at the base, we need silicone rubber. I hope I didn't get rid of anything that I needed. But we need that silicone. So let's do that real quick. Uh, there we go, and then should be, yes, welder. All right. Oh wait, I need the copper. I need to make another battery for sure. Got another battery. We got survival stuff. We should be good. Let's get back up to the room. Oh, goodness. It's dark. Oh, I hate it. Hello, sir. How do I fix you? 1%. Well, that's easy enough. There we go. You are online. All right. Uh, oh, repair that too. Waiting for cargo. Wait, where do I stuff? Oh! Holy- that's all it can hold? Oh, that's great. Okay, so you got the bioscanner results. And I will send them up to you. 
Go! Holy crap! Is this dangerous to stand here? Should be fine, right? Jesus! Oh, all right, so it should curve. Payload where? inbound, Vesper. Understood. If anything's wrong, we'll come get you. Hey, why not take a couple days R and R up here anyway? Why don't you take a jaunt down here? Huh. Remind yourself that life comes in colors besides white, off-white, and gray. And temperatures below zero. No thanks. Ha. Uh. But speaking of freezing to death, if you're staying on the ice, you'll need transport. You're trusting me with a snow fox. If I can find a version of the truth that authorizes it. You're amazing. If you're listening, Altara, she's amazing. Promote this person. Sorry, you're breaking up. Love you. <sighs> now what? Yeah, now what? Are you going to send me my, uh... Am I going to get my just deserves? My well-earned snow fox to traverse the ever-expanding snow? What the hell is that over there? What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I... Wait, what am I missing on a scan? Oh, wow! Thanks for telling me now. I almost missed it. I looked around. I didn't see that I could scan it, but now I know I can't. You guys probably can't see that moving. It's a little dark. It's like a little blue... I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit terrified to go down there, though. Oh, no way. No way. I'm not going down there. You're insane. Oh, <gasps> it's a glow whale. It's a glow whale. I'm gonna wait till it's daytime, though. Maybe I should sleep. I don't think I've ever utilized sleeping in this game to pass time, so maybe I should do that. Let's take a nice little nap. Get some rest, girl. You deserve it. Take a shower or something. You probably smell awful. Okay, and it's daytime. Okay, nothing has happened. Do I have a new... Maybe something came down? Emergency supply cache. Oh, I should probably mark... Yeah, let me mark this one as blue for habitat. Oh my god, it is. It is. It's the glow whale. <gasps> oh, goodness. All right, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Oh my god, I'm excited. Is there a pod? Or is it just- is it just the one? <gasps> oh god, this is actually kind of scary. What the hell's down there? What? Robin, you might be down there for- oh, placeholder. I'm sending down a builder tool so you can make yourself a home. Yay! But look at the glow whale! Oh my god! Oh god, don't get so close, dude. Just trying to scan you. What the hell's that sound? Is that you? <laughs> glow whale. Okay, so she's gonna send me a builder so I can start making my own habitat. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna risk it all. I'm gonna save first. But I'm gonna risk it all. Look at this guy. Wait, can I actually get on top of you? Oh my god. I don't think so. Interact! Wait, what? I can interact? Aww. What did that do? Oh! <gasps> What? Oh my god! Did you hear that? That's the sound they make? How come I can- how come I'm not- I'm not losing any oxygen, do you see that? I wonder if I can ride the glow whale all the way down to where they like- Because I know they go really deep, right? Maybe this one's not ready to do that. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much, devs, for putting that in. Orbital sensors are scanning for missing crew. Dive suit found abandoned near cargo rocket. Zero sector. GPS analysis indicates a trajectory leading towards deep sea station Kappa. <gasps> Find your colleague. Leviathan genetic research program. Genetic samples from deceased Leviathan research specimen are requested due to recent ice flow its position is unknown depth 150 meters oh shh. no 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 okay hold on i gotta dive deep i don't think i got anything else right holy mother of god what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing what am i doing why am i doing this passing 100 meters Oxygen efficiency decreased. 
At least there's a bottom. What the hell, though? Where does this go? Oh, no! It's a trench! Dude, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Unless I know there's a purpose to go down there, I... So, 150 meters down... Oh, I'm gonna have to use the sea truck, right? To move around? Like, because... Why are these floating, by the way? Because when it comes down to it, I'm gonna need some form of travel... Like a sea moth, right? But it's not gonna be a sea moth, it's gonna be something else. Sea truck might be it, but I feel like that's more for just carrying stuff. 150 meters deep, though. So I got some... Got some searching to do, apparently. Another Titan whole fish. Processing is complete. <gasps> God. You will build me a new vessel. How? What kind of vessel? I have not granted you permissions for that information. I can't help you if you don't tell me. Which data formats do you accept? Words, mostly. <laughs> I have added the information to your data bank. Thank you. Listen, I need something to call you. We do not use words that way. I used to have a pet barwall. I called him Ketchup. Don't make me name you two. You may append my seed code to the species designation. You may call me Al Ann. I waited my whole life to meet a spacefaring alien. You're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No. No. Alan. It's perfect. Let me see about that vessel. Oh. Thanks for playing Early Access 1. Story and gameplay from here are very broken. Oh! Okay, so we reached the end of the current story development. So it's very brief. But nonetheless, fun and ever so intriguing. Excuse me. Chill out, dude. Okay, there's still a lot to explore, for sure. Oh, let's read this. Alien vessel. Uh, my kind navigates space-time in conjunction with biomechanical vessels, altered and evolved over time to serve our needs. In case of disaster, we can download our data patterns from the current vessel to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply. However, the unique perspective and traits uh, which arose from the interplay with the original vessel are lost. It is like a factory reset. Uh, it is recommended that they be restored to a freshly constructed, compatible vessel as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed at an appropriate facility using specialized blueprints and materials. Addendum. I believe that you became impolite because I threatened you very possible. I do love the... I do love Alan. I love the voice for him. He seems very, um... It seems very, fo like, alien. Foreign. But also quite dense. I don't know. I feel like if it's a space-faring alien race that somehow they might be a little bit more, like, I don't know, intuitive. Like, even if you don't use, like, words that way, wouldn't you still understand that other species do? I mean, you know all about us, right? You, you guys had, like, a Mongolian sword from Earth. So, like, that, you should understand that there were names back then. And that's how humans typically work. But I don't know. That's just my... My opinion. So, she's supposed to be sending me down a snow fox. I don't even know if that's in the game yet. I mean, I know it's well developed, if not done. I gotta start searching, though, because it says that it's 150 meters deep. I have no way of making a better tank than what I already have anyway, so... Perfect opportunity for me to grab the rest of my stuff out of this locker and put it in the new base okay all these can stay here i don't think i need those right away i'm gonna take my pingling with me so cargo rocket over here okay now they did say story from here is broken so i'm assuming the elements will still be here at least some of them okay back at base our new base and i'm gonna put all my stuff away ah i've collected so much I'm not sure what to do with a lot of this. I don't have a battery charger or anything. Oh, I missed this part. What? When did this show up? Robin, your bio sample, did you lose sight of it at any point? Not until I launched it into space. Uh, you said the research site called you by name. Did anything like that happen since? Uh, no, you said the site was off limits. What exactly happened in the sanctuary, Sam? What is this about? Uh, just routine. Uh, I poked about, took some scans, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, I've got to go stay safe. She sounds incredibly sketch. Okay, so if I want to... Oh, whoa, the rocket's back? How did it get back? I have to do it again. That's interesting. Okay. Could put more stuff... Wait, what? Colleague PDA-1. 
Karas sample. Altera precursor research notes. I don't have either of those. Okay, so that's probably a little bit later in the story. I, I imagine that's kind of crazy. So she's not sending me down the builder just yet. So I guess I'll just have to wait to see if that happens. But I assume the game is going to get updated quite often with new stuff. We This is, uh, it's daily and experimental. Little tiny tweaks uh, daily, but also major content updates every month or two months, I think they said. Potentially, that will add more story. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the last two videos leading up to the end of the current state of Subnautica Below Zero, the story at least. There's still a lot to do. I'm going to continue playing. If you have any ideas or if you have anything you would like to request for me to do, I'll be happy to do it. I definitely need to scan a brute shark. I need to try and find out where the glow whale goes, and I need to explore a lot more. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you can get updated as soon as I upload the next episode. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.